So today's permission slip is like a continuation. Sorry, not permission slip. Today's meditation is like a continuation of our session that we did uh, just like a half an hour back. So there are two parts to it. One is we are going to use the heart chakra uh, mantra chanting to open your heart. This is the one I was talking about in my automatic writing course. Mm -hmm. And the second part of this is actually connecting to the heart's con consciousness and seeking daily guidance. Now, these two are separate activities. You can do it separately. It's like you don't have to do it uh, together. Uh, it's not necessary that in order to speak with your heart, you have to do a meditation. I'm just doing it together in the same session so that you can experience the benefits of both. So opening the heart is very important if you want to open your crown, crown chakra. I remember first time when I did this meditation, it like for 18 hours straight, I experienced total bliss. Like complete bliss like I did not even know that you can be actually happy for more than 30 seconds like earlier I used to be happy for only 30 seconds at to once a year that is that was my experience of happiness so you can imagine how miserable I was so this was like a completely mind-blowing experience so here's the process the mantra for <laughs> The uh, heart chakra is yam. That's a mantra. Now, I think this is what James was asking me yesterday that whether we can intonate using our own tune. And in today's session, we are going to do exactly that. I learned this from Teal Swan in one of our videos. So we will be testing a specific pitch tone and volume in which the heart starts vibrating like buzzing so instead of using the generic uh, tone of yeah we will be testing and seeing each tone and see where or in which tone the heart kind of creates a buzzing sensation so what works for me will not work for you so this meditation has to be done individually like we cannot do it together what we will do together is finding the tone i'll show you how to find the tone so this is how i'm going to test it yeah It created a minor vibration. Let me try a different tone. Yeah. No, this is not. Let me try a different one. Yeah. Not so much. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. So when I am intonating as a, mm, that's when the vibration begins in my heart. So it may not be same as you. So first you have to find which tone or pitch is suitable for the vibration in your heart. You have to test it out. I'll give you two, three minutes to try it use different tones and voice and see when you start experiencing some sensations like a, a vibration a buzzing you will you will feel it and it will feel very pleasant not very pleasant but whatever even if it is minor it will feel very pleasant to experience that is one and second thing notice where the vibration happens the most when you are saying the yeah part or the mm part so it might be different for different people. So hear me out. Say, for example, I can chant the mantra this way. Yeah. I 
as you notice, the yeah part is longer. I'm just going all over the place and stretching the yeah and then just ending with them. Or I can also do it in this way. Yeah. Well, the hmm part is longer. The yeah part is shorter. So it will be different for each one of you. Don't try to, you know, uh, stick with something specific. See what works with you. Play around with the intonation. First, play around with the tone to see where you are getting the vibration. And second, is it the yeah part or the um part? If your heart is vibrating more when you are saying mm, then make the yes short and the mm long. Is it making sense? Or is it too complicated? Just want to get a feel of. No, it's uh, clear. Okay. Do you do you guys want to give it a shot now? I'll put myself on mute, and I would also request you to be on mute, because for each one of you, the tone will be different. So practice and see first. Let's identify the tone. I'll put myself on mute now. Practice it now. Did you chant? Were you able to find out? Yes. Did it vibrate? Yes. If you want, you can also record it on your phone so that you don't forget which tone, uh, so that you don't have to redo it every time. You can just hear it and you can immediately start with that tone. You want to record it? Or no, wait, let's do the second part. Uh, the second part is finding whether it's the yeah part or the mm part. Which part is creating the vibration more? So now that you know which tone, try with yam yeah or yam yeah and see where you are getting the maximum vibration. Try it again. I'll mute myself again. done all good guys now shall we do it we will be so the beauty of this chanting is even if you do it for two minutes you are going to still get the experience of completely opening your heart chakra i remember i'll tell you a story i'll motivate you as to why you should do it more often so back when i used to do my job 
uh, I was completely burned out, even though I was like doing very well at work. Um, I and because I was burned out, I was like I had too much to do, and I just didn't enjoy doing my work. I used to work as a senior product manager in one of the companies in India. That was my last job, and I was totally burnt out. And I remember I used to be very irritable. That time I was just starting my spiritual journey. I used to be very irritable, and uh, there was this time where this team had requested some changes in the product that we were working on, and I have said like in a meeting I was very irritable. I was like, no, we can't do it because they were making a very unfair request that we couldn't keep. But I said it in a very irritable tone, so they got angry, and they escalated it to my manager. Uh, so, and they reorganized another meeting with my manager, asking the same thing. And I was very scared as usual. Like I don't know how this meeting is going to go because it felt like it's just going to be a me bashing meeting. So, uh, I just didn't know how to handle that because I was very clear in my mind that I'm going to tell them no because the request is unfair. But I just didn't know how to do it. So, like I was like I was really like like very scared. So just before the meeting, like I was just thinking what to say, what to do. I didn't know, and my heart was palpitating like anything. I was very anxious. So I think, like two or three minutes before the meeting, I saw the clock, and I was like, okay, it's going to begin. I'm anyway panicking. So what can I do? Okay, all I can do is just calm myself down, and we'll handle whatever is going to happen. Is going to happen. So I just did this this exact meditation. For two minutes, just before joining the meeting, like the clock is ticking and I can walk, observe it. So I was like, I put an alarm on my clock that it should ring. I closed my eyes and I just did yeah, um, like a couple of times I chanted and I felt like so much peace. And that time I did not know much about how uh, opening of heart chakra affects your state of being. I was not familiar. I hadn't discovered Bashar by then. So I entered the meeting and they made the same request. But this time around, I noticed something different about me. It's like when I did the meditation, my entire being had calmed down. I was not panicking anymore. I, the, the choice of words that I was using, the, the way I was saying it, the like my body language, my micro expression, my tone, the lovingness in my tone, like as if something has changed in me. I, I couldn't really put a finger on it, but I knew something had changed. So when I was saying things, I was saying it, saying no, but in a very different way, in a very empathetic way. I was listening more. I was being very compassionate. I was not being irritable as if my entire being has shifted. So at the end of the day, I still said no to them. But I said no with so much love and compassion that they not only accepted that no, my manager was like, why did you even call me in this meeting? She handled it very well. She, I mean, she has a valid point. So I, are you guys even insisting this? And he just left midway. And that is when I understood the power of this meditation. At that time, I didn't know anything about Bashar. I didn't know nothing. So if you want to have any difficult conversation with somebody and you are not in a good state of being or you just don't know how to give a feedback or you know how to put your words just do this meditation even if for one minute or two minutes and i guarantee you the outcome is going to be positive i guarantee you that i can put my name and sign on it how excited do you feel to do it now All right. Let's so, go. <laughs> all right. So now that you've identified the tone and how long you want to do it, again, I cannot do it with my uh, speaker on because my intonation will be very different from yours. So we have to do it individually, but we'll do it together even if we are on mute. All good? You ready? Okay. Let's do it. I'm putting myself on mute. 
and we will do it for let's just do it for three minutes and let's check in and see what you are experiencing oh no let's do another fun thing take a note of your emotions right now what do you feel in your body just if you have some like notepad open or maybe pen and paper whatever you have just take a note of your emotions like what kind of emotions are you feeling right now right now happy sad angry stressed exhausted um i don't know what else whatever you write it down because then you'll understand the power of this meditation after you have done it we are also going to check in again and also write down um, on a scale of 1 to 10 how intensely you are feeling that emotion 1 being the least 10 being uh, the max this will also help you understand the change you created with the meditation so take a note of all the feelings and rate them let's do it Don't we get started yet? Wait. <laughs> Rashwati, you are like off. Like nobody can stop you. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's do it. I'll put myself on mute. And I'll disturb you in three minutes. How was it? Yeah, talk on mute as if I will be able to hear. 
that you're not sort of smiling and this smile is coming from within. I'm feeling so serene. Everything is feeling so settled, you know. What about you, Leticia? I um first of all, I from the practices, you know, that we were doing before, I was already feeling like whew, full openness and so now the second time, um, I kind of started even feeling like my clothes like vibrating. I'm so vibrating. <laughs> like, you know, like the feeling of the clothes were like, mm, like wow. <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of could feel this energy like expanding and I could start feeling like my whole house was with me, like, like a wave was being sent, you yes. know? Yes, you have I, like you have become so the, sensitive, you can sense like you are expanding. Yeah, and I could, yeah, and I was thinking about the air elementals. <laughs> That's a oh, nice cool. combo. That's yeah, a nice like, combo. Uh, uh, I was like vibrating with them, like going on. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. are totally embodying that and you are actually applying that knowledge yeah it's coming together like everything like from different like sources and parts are like you know integrating into place you, you you feel that like yeah wow Vince you're not allowed to go invisible on us yeah right. <laughs> no, <it's> like, <laughs> <laughs> Vince, were you able to do it? I think you're in a different place and it's like 2.50 or 2.30 a.m. Yeah. in your time. Yeah, no, it was interesting. I, I found the, um, I was fairly relaxed and chilled out anyway because of Michael's session. Um, I think when I finished, I was a little more, like if the waves were going like that, the waves were going like that. Mm. So it was, if that makes sense, the frequency. And I also the sounds modified as I went. So the proportion of the first bit to the second bit, the first bit was longer and the second bit was shorter. But when I'd finished and you interrupted me, I might add, I was having a great time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but it became more even. So the first bit and the second bit became more even, like equally spaced. So that was interesting as well. So yeah, you will figure it out more and you will see it's also changing. It's also changing yep. over time. And you, some days yep. you will feel like the mm part is more. So, uh, sometimes you'll feel like, yeah, is creating more effects. Some days you will be balancing it out. So play around with it. Play around. Yep. Yeah, I didn't have to. It just happened organically. Yeah, yeah. That's, so that and, was sort of my experience. Yeah, yeah, and if you do it for longer, I remember doing it for the first time for 15 minutes. I guarantee you, you are going to have a very like, like out of the world experience. I don't know what. But yeah. I guarantee yep. you are going to have an out of world experience. Yeah, I guarantee. And I like Letitia's version of that bringing in the air elements. I love that. Yeah. So thank yeah. you for that, Letitia. Yeah, the next yeah. time round, I'll I'll do that. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah. Good yeah. On that you. was like a permission slip. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. how I I uh I know them. You know, it's that big. But the thing is that they didn't really used to present themselves as like, oh, I'm the air elemental. But I think. Uh, I feel that I was already connected to them, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. When we are uh, doing this meditation, mm -hmm. uh, we do feel that we all are we, uh, that we are expanding. Mm -hmm. So, uh, um, will this meditation going to uh, is going to have a positive effect on the people around us because of the waves that we are creating? Or, uh, meditation or, always uh, creates a positive effect. So when you are meditating in a group in a same space, like a, this is what I know from uh, whatever I have learned from Prani Healing. If more than uh, eight people are meditating physically in one space, the amount of energy they generate can wipe out all the uh, negative thought forms, negative uh, thought entities, and even egregores in uh, within what uh, a few miles in that area so yeah. if people are meditating in group physically in one space the crime rates around that area will drop in in a specific uh, radius 
so it creates an effect and even when we are doing it together on online uh, today we couldn't chant it together but that is also creating a energy matrix it's okay. connecting us connecting the dots and we are somehow creating a matrix of energy so if you are meditating alone also you are still creating positive effects around you and your own state of being changes so the way you react yes. with others and talk with others changes and that shifts your reality yeah yep. maharishi mahesh yogi did that he sent his pundits to hot spots around the world and they'd chant and pray and meditate do whatever and it did change the energy of those areas so yeah, it's the yeah. same thing yeah. you know it's very yeah. powerful yeah it is and uh like the more number of people that there is, the more energy is generated. Well, the what? Bible said that as an example, when he said, when two or three are, are gathered in my name, then I forget what the rest bit was, but <laughs> that's us. There's six of us. So we <laughs> gathered for yeah. the purpose of expanding who yeah. we are and hence <laughs> everything around us. So we're moving by doing this to a different timeline. Yeah, and that's what Michael was talking about. So everything mm. we do moves us to another time. And that's my version anyway. I like mm. that version. Mm. What about Tammy and Vidran? What What was your experience? You're in mute. Mute, right? Oh, we can't hear him. See so if can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, something is wrong with my headphones doesn't matter uh i felt calm i felt some kind of peace and calmness i didn't have any uh huge uh, sensations like you because probably because i just came from gym and you came from previous uh, <laughs> uh entry to this so you had a different you had a jump start but uh, definitely yeah it, it's a kind of calming sensation and uh pleasant i would say didn't know what to expect. I didn't know actually how to. That's the I... best thing, you know, when you don't enter with any expectation. Any that expectations, is when you have the yeah. best experience. This is my experience of meditation. Go with blank mind. Don't expect what's going to happen and see what happens. Then newer things happen. Mm. I wasn't sure. Should I uh, say it out loud or should I say it in myself? I No, no. Should... You need to say it out loud. You need to hear it in your own voice. How did you do it? Did you say it in your mind? I did, did yeah, you I did it? it in the beginning. I said it out, out loud, but my voice changed, you know, somehow. I, I could not yeah. keep the same tonality because my this thing, you know, changes. So it's not it's not like... Uh, That's all right. Keep trying the same. a couple of times, yeah. It, yeah, it fluctuated. Uh, but yeah, definitely, I think the the... The gatherings and the... the were the you gathering. trying to do it too frequently? Like yam, yam, yam. Were you trying to do it like that? Because then you'll run, run out of breath. No, I was I was doing it calm, calm, slowly till the end and then again and till the end and then again. I was doing it like this. I was repeating it okay. slowly. So I'll show you how I do it. Maybe that will give you some new way of doing it maybe. So this yeah. is how I will go like I will focus on my heart center. I'll take a deep breath and notice the vibration. I'm like fully my attention is on the vibration I feel in the heart because that is the guidance of whether I am going in the right direction or not because I'm doing this only to create that buzzing sensation. So Yeah. Yeah. Mm. If you notice, I'm taking a long break between two yams. I'm breathing in a lot of air so that I can extend the mm intonation for a long time. The more air you breathe in, the longer you can extend it. Even okay, if you're that's... saying the yeah part. 
you can extend it for a long time. So breathe in with belly breath. Like, and when I'm saying, yeah, I'm, I'm like putting pressure on my belly. So the breath is coming out from my belly and making sure I'm completely deflating myself and I have no air left when I finish with them. And then I'm taking a deep breath in. I'm inhaling a lot of air and like belly breathing in, not just chest shallow breathing. So this will make the impact even better. Yeah, this is also a breathing exercise. What about the emotions? Guys, Did you uh, can you write down how you are feeling right now? Like the on a scale of 1 to 10, whatever emotions you wrote before you started, what is the like the score right now for those emotions take a note of that that will motivate you to do it even more um for me i'm, I'm pretty um closer to the 10 there <laughs> i up there yeah 10 10 is like max max mm -hmm. of what of feeling, I think for me it's like heart open meaning present in the feeling of you know uh, beingness and kind of like love you know what I call love yeah so some days like you may not experience what you experience today some days will be like I'm not feeling anything different like mm -hmm. expanding or some really amazing stuff but that does not mean that effect is not created you are still going to exp experience the benefits mm -hmm. so now we will do the second part of the exercise which is the best part i learned this from one of my coaches and jan i'll give the credits where it's due and this has single-handedly changed my life now you don't need to accompany the meditation with this you can do this exercise anytime this is asking your heart for guidance, which is uh, what Michael was telling today, asking your heart for guidance, because our soul's purpose, the seed is planted in our physical heart. So every time we are connecting to the heart, it will always be in alignment with what we have chosen to do in this lifetime. And this is mm -hmm. what Michael also said. How will you know the answer that you're getting from the heart is the correct one? It will bring you immediate relief. It will bring mm -hmm. you calmness. It will bring you peace. If the answer is making you more nervous and like more bothered, then it's not coming from the heart. It's coming mm -hmm. from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. The answer from the heart will always bring you peace, relief, calmness, happiness, and all those positive feelings. So let's do this exercise. Let's think of uh, one challenge in your life that you have been struggling significantly with. Think of one challenge and you are hoping for some guidance for that, for that challenge. You don't know what to do and you have a question as to how to handle the challenge. Think of it. Think of the question. I'll give you a minute. done mm -hmm. done okay now we are going to connect to the heart center now it is really wide and open so you will be able to get the answer instantly now the answer may come in any way it can come as intuition it can come as a voice you can hear voices in your head it can come as image it can come as a bodily sensation it can come as a feeling it can come and appear in any way so don't insist don't have any expectation let the answer come to you in whichever way it wants to it will come so now focus on your heart center put your hand on your chest gently touch the skin of your chest in the center the heart is not on the left side like shown in the movies. It's in the center. 
so gently touch and notice the sensation of your fingers on the skin of your chest and focus on that sensation that this touching will help you stay focused and your mind will not be wandering take a deep breath in and now ask your heart as if you are having a conversation with your heart's own consciousness imagine your heart to be your friend silently say in your head this is the challenge and this is my question as to how can i handle this challenge and wait for the answer Did you have a full blown conversation or just one question and one answer? Was a conversation. And how did that make you feel? Empowered. That is the power of heart's guidance. I ask every challenge and conflict I face. I just connect in words and ask my heart, "What should I do? What should I do?" And if the heart says, "Do this," and I'm like, "No, but what about this?" and it will give guidance. And no, what about that? And it will give you guidance. And eventually, whatever you have, the final answer is going to put you to peace. You don't need any Google. You have your Google inside you. Yes, that's true. Total true. Now it's got to follow the heart, right? Yep, that's basically what I got. Just follow the heart, keep it open. and <laughs> Isn't this amazing? It's like you have your own guide with you. Sometimes when I channel, um, the beings I channel, they say to do it right then and there. Sometimes they don't answer my question. They say, do this instead. You have the answer. The dependence that I sometimes un un unconsciously develop on them, they are like, they will cut it and they'll say, no, ask yourself. No, we are not going to answer. Ask yourself. This is how you do it. And I'm like, oh yeah, I have this Google and I'm not using it. Mm. Cool. <laughs> so now yeah, that you was know sort of the what secret. I... Yeah, what? That was sort of what I got because it, it was pretty much the same answer. But I got it when you said ask the question and the answer was there and then we started the session, the meditation because I was already in that open heart state from the first one anyway. So it just kept going. So that was cool. And I'm chilled out now. For, I'm 
feel a bit high. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Mm, very good. I can see it in your voice. Your voice has changed. This is what happens when you open the heart. Your voice changes. The volume changes. The pitch changes. The tone changes. Like everything changes. I can hear and I can say, hmm, this guy is in a state of love just by hearing your voice. Even if I don't see you, I can just by hearing your voice, I'm like, this guy is in a state of love. And similarly, yep. I can hear who's in a state of pain when they are in pain. Kashwati, how was, how was it? Amazing. Amazing. You don't even sound like you. Uh, <laughs> Seriously, you don't even sound, I don't know who is talking. <laughs> I'm feeling so, so settled. Oh you are looking sleepy also. Like you are in so much peace. When I do this, mm. I feel like I'm a leaf in a floating water. Yeah. It's, it's so serene. It's so calm. I mean, the sensation that is arising is... It's, just, it's so blissful, basically, you know? Ah, uh, what about you, Vedran and Tammy? Again, you are talking with a headphone that doesn't work. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's a strange sensation to to be openly talking to my heart. It's really strange for me. It's a uh, a new new sensation and. Uh, I think I have to work on it still because I think I'm too tight, too close, too too. Uh, have to soften a bit to to, to make so it. Then uh, do this heart chakra meditation for at least five ten minutes until you feel soft, and maybe then do it. Eventually, you will reach a state where you don't need to do it. You can just connect and an get answers. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I, I I'll have to give it some time. Yeah, that's all right. Everybody yeah. has their progress graph and it's different for everybody. So take your time. It's your journey. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think for what helps me along the way and I, the way my traditions of meditation work is if you can do the belly breathing and you know, push your mm -hmm. stomach out when you're breathing in and pull it in when you're breathing out just get used to that i find that's a that's what happened with my sensation when i first started i just remembered that i had to do that my body took over because that's what i've been doing but if you're not used to that and even in your gym work instead of using your lungs use your stomach so breathe out when you push your tummy in <clears throat> and when you breathe in push your stomach out because it also <clears throat> increases the volume in your lungs. You Airway. inhale four liter of oxygen when you are belly breathing, as compared there to chest go. breathing, when you are only <clears throat> inhaling point four liters of oxygen. Like just imagine the difference: four liters versus point four, not even one liter. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, I haven't done it before. I heard about this belly breathing. Uh, I haven't done it. It's not intuitive how to do it just by yourself because you heard someone said that you should do it, but uh, I should Yeah, look, when look, you are inhaling, it uh, there are YouTube videos also. When you are inhaling, pay attention and see if your belly is expanding. Like if you forcefully try to expand your belly and also breathe in at the same time, what happens is you are forcing your diaphragm to expand when you are like yeah, trying yeah. to expand your belly and that opens up the lung even more and that's when a lot of air goes in so in belly breathing the whole point of belly breathing is to open the diaphragm fully wide open and you are doing it consciously and slowly there are many types of breath like five 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 four seven eight blah 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 so you can also explore those mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and when you are breathing out press your belly like not with your hands, like just contracting the muscles so that every bit of air from you is pushed out. Yeah. Wait for one second and it's an empty retention of you waiting for that one second before you breathe in again. 
it's going to rush a lot of oxygen inside and your belly will automatically expand then you don't have to do it consciously so watch some youtube videos they are pretty easy and see what happens yes definitely yeah thanks yeah i will yeah all right folks i hope you enjoy today's meditation and the heart's guidance do let me know uh, what experiments you do with the heart guidance part i use it daily yeah shashwati um monika i want to uh, want to talk something about yesterday's meditation that om mani padme hum uh, i did it uh, early in the morning today and uh, i did not count how many how many times i was doing it i just did it as long as i felt comfortable mm-hmm. and the entire day i had a headache i don't know what yeah and i slept i slept like anything i had terrible headache this 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 you over activated so i think i left you a yes, message you also it. yeah so mm-hmm. what happens is if you are doing it for a very long time for like more than 30 minutes we are often asked to do exercises after that like remember the jumping jacks jumping i jacks. talked about yes. in the automatic writing do it immediately it's like excessive downpour of divine energy and your body doesn't know what to do with so much so when you do the exercise it keeps whatever it needs to keep and releases the let rest so do 30 or 50 sets of jumping jack until you start feeling normal the headache will go away or you can also do energy distribution yes take the excess your head is aching because there is excess energy there and not in other parts of the body so take the excess with your hand and redistribute in all of your chakras that will also reduce the size of the crown because you are just taking everything and just redistributing you can do that also that will also make the headache go away i was i actually remembered it after the call ended yesterday i was like oh wait no don't do it too often or too for too long because then there will be excess energy and your body will get tired and you will feel like sleeping or you will get pains and aches and i had this thought i sent you a message and you didn't see the message and i knew you are the one who is going to do it for long <laughs> i knew it <laughs> and i instantly as soon as the call ended i was like oh i forgot to tell her she, oh no she's going to do it for long so i messaged you and you didn't see it but anyway good you asked today <laughs> all right folks i'll see you tomorrow and i hope you enjoyed today bye 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 thanks bye see ya bye see you bye hello <laughs>